Hello and welcome to another episode of Fun Artifact Friday. Today I have three photos from our collection that are depicting underground mining. To those of us on the surface, what's going on kilometers deep down in a mine may be a mystery. There is plenty of special equipment and machinery that's used to extract minerals, transport items and people, and ensure the safety of the miners. So, the first photo I have for you today is of the interior of a hoist room at Toburn Gold Mine, and it was taken in 1941. In this room, the hoist man or operator controls the hoist, which transports people, items, and other loads into and out of a mining shaft. These, are, these devices are very much like elevators. They are usually larger though and much more powerful, and they're often the only type of transportation into and out of a mining site. As you can see, there is an operator working the controls when the photo was taken. The gauges on the right of the photo indicate the depth of the levels. There's also a sign on the railing that says, do not talk to operator when hoist is in motion. Because human lives depend on them, it's important that there's no risk of hoist failure or miscalibration. The operator needs to complete focus to safely raise and lower the hoist. The next photo I have for you is of a miner loading an iron ore car. The photo was taken at the Sylvanite gold mine at the 3,150th level. The Sylvanite mine was one of the first mines that were established in Kirkland Lake, along with the Tough Oaks mine and the Tech Hughes mine. It was the fourth largest producing gold mine in the Kirkland Lake camp and was located east of the Wright Hargraves mine. The mine spanned approximately 208 acres and its main shaft had a depth of 5,550 feet, about 1.69 kilometers. As you can see, the miner in the photo is loading the ore car with ore from the ore pass. The ore pass is a mining shaft that's used to transport waste and ore from the mine. It's a convenient way to transport materials as well as minimize the hauling distance between mining levels. Now we actually have an ore car right here at the museum that you can take a picture with on your next visit. The last photo I have for you is of a miner operating an underground locomotive, which is essentially a mini train. It was taken at the Lakeshore Mine. These large machines are used to transport ore and other materials across long distances in the mine. They travel along complex networks of underground railways. The first underground tracks were made of wood, but mines eventually transitioned to iron and later steel tracks. As you can see, there are many similarities between this machine and an above surface train, including a bell that is used to alert other miners that the train would be passing through. These locomotives have undergone many advancements since their invention in 1870. The original locomotives were steam powered, but over time, many other types emerged, including compressed air, overhead electric, battery powered, and diesel locomotives. And that's it for this week's episode of Fun Artifact Friday. I hope you learned something new about what goes out on underground and a mine. And we'll see you next week for another episode of Fun Artifact Friday.